What do I do if my cuticle is overgrown? Even worse, if it's stuck to the nail. I get that question a lot and the answer is so simple. You won't believe it, but it's true. And let me share a three week progress of one of our viewers and explain what she did to get these results. So she wrote on the November 15th, so three weeks ago, it is the 6th of December now. And she said this, I'm looking for advice. I'm a bass player and I need to keep my nails very, very short, especially my index and middle finger on the right hand. And this is impacting the shape. I would need a routine for my really dry skin around my nails. I tend to cut my proximal nail fold. I learned from your videos that I shouldn't. I would like to keep the skin soft without having to cut these hard and dry chunks, which form on the side of my nails. I have not been successful with just lotion or maybe I was not too consistent. And here is my answer, I responded. So it looks like the skin around your nails, so the proximal nail fold, is a little stubborn and it likes to stick to the nail plate. This is not cuticle, of course. Cuticle is this. And what's overgrown and stuck to the nail, it's actually a living skin. So here's what I would recommend. First of all, and this is a must, carousel ointment, because lotion is just too light for you. I would start with that and use a tiny amount every night. It will help the stuck skin to loosen up. Then take a wooden stick, like I show in many of my videos, and just nudge that skin back a bit, not all the way, just a little bit, like in this video. And do that every couple of days. Over time, that skin will become more elastic and it will be much easier to push back. Then, after each hand wash, I would use a drop of oil around the nails. So one drop per hand, that's enough. And rub the rest of the oil, that's whatever's left, on your hands. If the fingers are greasy, then you are using too much oil. You can also wipe your hands with a towel. Whatever is needed for the skin absorbs right away. I suggest that you put the oil next to your sink and keep one in your purse. Just use it after each hand wash. It becomes a habit and it takes literally 10 seconds. So for hard skin on the side of the nails, you can gently smooth it with a soft file. That makes the skin feel better. But remember that you need a cream, so the carousel, to prevent it. So the videos, the links that I sent her, these are very, very quick videos, so I, I'm i going to include them right here at the end of this video, so you don't have to click around to look for them. Okay, so let's just very quickly look at these nails. So guys, it is actually difficult to believe that these are the same nails, but they're absolutely the same nails. And you know how I can tell? I can tell by looking at this white spot. So there is two white spots. One is here, one is here, and this is completely normal. Sometimes it's from just a little trauma around the, the matrix area. But as you can see here, these are the same spots. Just, uh, I would say, yeah, three. it's exactly three weeks, right? In three weeks, the nails grow this much. So same thing with this spot. And this one was here. So yes, this is absolutely three weeks. And this is the difference. How the area around the nails have changed. As you can see here, that, let's do a nice close-up. So there was tear, that skin, when it stretches, when it's stuck, um, it tears sometimes, especially when it's dry. So as, as I could see here, that area was quite stuck to the nail. This is why I recommend that the carousel. So the carousel is a very thick ointment and it has Vaseline and it also has glycerin, which is very moisturizing, has urea. Urea is exfoliating as well and it's also moisturizing. And so it has 10% urea and it also has salicylic acid, which is exfoliating as well as slightly anti-inflammatory. And this is how the difference is. It's absolutely incredible. You see, so when that skin is pushed back, and I don't like to even call it pushed back, if it's just nudged back, because you don't wanna be pushing it all the way back because then you're gonna have like this huge flap of skin. And I just had one of the viewers that had that problem. And I started to advise to not necessarily right away do like a full manicure with a blue cross. I recommend just using that ointment first so that skin becomes much more elastic and it shrinks back before you attempt doing like a full manicure. So honestly, I think this is the best way forward for me to, to teach people. Yes, because when you push this back, this is quite a lot of skin. And the reason why it's stretched is because 
when that skin is stuck, as the nail is growing forward, it's stretching the, the skin with it. And when the, nail, the skin is not stuck to the nail, but it's gently nudged back, it's, and it's nice and elastic, it just sits nicely back and looks very pretty. Also, let's look at this nail. So this is, mm, you can't really see that much, but you can definitely see that the whole dry patch, the dry skin is definitely gone. There was, there was no flakes, nothing around the, the nail, and that skin looks also much softer. The picture is a little fuzzy, but you can definitely see a difference that how the skin is nice and tidy around the nails, and there was definitely much more skin on the nails here. You can see. And you can also see the white spot here, how it's grown out to here. So this is three weeks, definitely. Yeah, and these white spots are very deep in the nail. So these are not surface damage because sometimes the white spots show up on the very surface and sometimes that is surface damage, nail surface damage. But when they're deeper in the nail, it's, it's a different, um, different thing completely, but it's nothing to worry about. So I would say this is very impressive and this is really really doable i would say three four weeks if that skin is overgrown or it's a little calloused it's the four weeks three four weeks is going to make a big difference in how the skin looks so hopefully this video was helpful thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon very quick video i wanted to show you how i get rid of these little hard pieces here so this is not how to get rid of dry skin because if there was dry skin then definitely you have to just you know moisturize more but sometimes we get these little pieces from just pressure i do some weight training and things like that so definitely we use our fingers so this is what happens the key is to just to smooth it not to get rid of it completely so just so you don't pick at it i picked up these files so you don't need fancy files i just picked up these ones today we'll see how they work yeah they will work you want to get something that's not very very coarse this is pretty good because it's very it's a very thin file grab this file like so put it in this area flat and just smooth it because a file like that gives you a lot of precision see how this is coming out and you don't want to get rid of it completely you want to feel for the area it feels smoother Perfect. This is little, this little piece is a little hard. So I'm going to set the file down with a little bit of pressure. Feels smoother. Perfect. And now just a drop of oil. And this is how much oil I'm using with the same drop. I'm going to put the rest of the drop on the rest of the nails. You don't need your hands to be dripping with oil because very often people are afraid of using oil because of how greasy it feels. But you see, when you put very, very small amount, this is not going to be greasy. And then I just rub this into my hands. If it feels a little too greasy, you can just grab a towel, remove the excess, and you're done. And this is much, much better. And by the way, I don't recommend using these nippers to just cut the skin because when you cut the skin, the skin is going to peel even worse and it's going to drive you crazy. So filing, smoothing it with the file is much better. So as promised, this is what I recommend doing every single day to help with that skin around the nails not sticking to the nail. So you take a manicure stick. I find these wooden sticks are the best because you don't need anything super fancy. So either the one with a, like an angle and or the square one is really good too. So with the square one, you can just push it this way. With the angle one, I like to, to use the side of it because uh, this is a little bit too harsh, right? Okay, so let's just even see how long this is going to take me. So just nudging like this. This is it. So of course, if that skin is really stretched, it's going to take a while for this to improve, but it definitely will. And now I hold it this way.
excited to see your progress and your pictures. So please keep doing this and send me pictures. There you go. So you know what? A minute. This took exactly a minute. And now at night, ointment. So this one I really like. It has, I think, 10% urea. So you just grab a small amount. Like this, this is, this is enough. Um, don't use anything like super strong. A little dab. So if you have any irritation, obviously don't use it, but majority of people find this very, very helpful. You can actually rub it into the rest of your hands. You could actually even use less of what I showed you. So this is more than plenty.